Freaking paddle! Hey Peter! Thanks buddy! It's pretty hot in here. Crap. Oh, that was not Jade. First off this morning, we're gonna pack up, move to a campsite closer to the river. They're gonna drop me off so I can get some work done. And while I'm doing all that jazz, they're gonna get the whole kayak trip set up get the vehicles in place, find out where we're gonna put in, and all those minor details. Finer details. We're all packed up and ready to go. Today's one of the first days I don't have sticky notes on me. Trash duty. We just paid $15 to basically pull into a place at 11 at night and stay the night. That's also kind of why I sleep for free when I'm living on the road. Why pay if you don't have to? That's why I just look for cool places that I can sleep next to. And then I sleep there. Alright, I'll call you guys when I'm done. See you later. Just left the Ozark Cafe here in Jasper, Arkansas. Cool little place. I'm all done. I think it's time to get on the freaking river. Sounds like Peter and Richard got everything set up. Richard! Got my shades, got my swim chunks. Absolutely gorgeous out here, but it's also really toasty. Probably gonna get burnt to crap, but we do have sunscreen. We gotta throw that on. Let's get in the freaking river. It was a little bit shallower than we expected, but it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Water's perfect. Can't wait to jump in. I guess Peter's gonna drag us. We're a little heavy in this two-seater kayak. I'm fat. A little over three years ago, we actually planned this same exact trip. However, that weekend we wanted to go, freaking snowstorm came through. And that didn't really work out too well with kayaking. And we ended up going to, I think, Kansas or something instead, away from the storm. So this is kind of a round two of trying to go on this kayaking trip. Today we're gonna do about 10 miles, six to seven hour trip. It's gonna be super easy to create a cool vlog today with all the amazing views. Check this yeah, out. I can see clearly now on the Buffalo River. Look at that reflection right there. It's like there's two Richards and two Mayas. Come here. Swim, Maya, swim! Good swim, Maya! Good girl, you won't do that again. I didn't know she could swim. <laughs> <laughs> we almost lost the dog. Good start to the trip. We're going down the rapids backwards. Oh. Oh. Go on it, right? Maybe take note this time of year. It's a little bit shallower. Otherwise, I don't know what the weather patterns have been like, if there's been a lot of rain or not. But for us, it's pretty shallow. Thanks, guys. Still amazing sights out here. Absolutely freaking beautiful. Got some cliffs up ahead. Way up yonder. We haven't lost the dog yet. So all in all, it's a great old time.
supports to push them again. It's like a little swimming area. Everyone seems to congregate. Maya Ryan back there. Oh no way. I can't touch right now. We made it through the swimming area. Pretty cool, pretty neat, pretty awesome. I don't know how many nautical miles we've traveled yet. Two. Two nautical miles? Yeah. Eight more to go. Only two hours in. Awesome. Big old freaking cliff on the left. I love you. You trying to come aboard? Yeah? They want to come aboard. <laughs> we weren't that far so we've been really trying to make up time make up river unfortunately we just keep running into really shallow areas and we have to keep walking so we're getting a kayak trip and a hike in today win-win situation hurry up Peter slow us down as you can imagine it's taking us a lot longer than predicted but I think we're making the best of it we shall see how long it takes and we're hung up again <laughs> Yay! Smile, you're on camera. We've had this process down the same exact system every time. We kayak for about a minute maybe and then we walk for like three minutes because it's too shallow. So that's been going on throughout the entirety of the day and now what time is it? It's like almost 7.38. It's almost 7.38 so we, we got on the river at one o'clock. We have no idea if we're even that close yet. We did have some other kayakers behind us. I don't know where they went now. Empty in the water. We're just getting a little hungry now. The hangriness, the tiredness, the dragging the kayak more than kayakingness is coming out. So we're trying to stay positive, but at this point, we would flip on anything and anyone. We met some locals who apparently built this dam. When we ran into them, it was about a half mile back. They said we had another four miles to go, which means we were just barely over halfway. Safe to say spirits are running low, but I mean, I'm having a great time. I'm just smiling like crazy, man. Headlamps are out. It's getting pretty dark. We still have a ways to go till we're back at camp. And, this will probably be the last time I talk to you until we get back. We're trying to hurry and get back before it gets too dark. Probably won't. We're going about as fast as we can, but we keep running into the spots where we have to get out and drag the canoe. The river is not prime for kayaking this time of year. And 10 miles with most of it walking, it's taking a lot longer than we want to take. We gotta keep paddling. I will see you back at camp. Oh, and it sucked in a bug. Well, we made it back to camp. Everyone survived. Maya didn't drown, so that's good too. We got a nice big fire going. Gonna cook up some food and just relax. Got really beautiful out, full moon. Bats were flying everywhere. Gnats as well. Gnats and bats. We had had lamps, but every time you turn them on, the gnats are just swarming our faces. I actually choked on a bunch. That was pretty cool. Yeah, definitely not the right time of year to go. Tried to make the most of it. But I'm pretty sure we can all agree we're happy we're back at camp, ready to make some food and relax for a bit. We're gonna pick up his truck at the other end, and I'll let you guys go. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. <laughs>